Hey everybody, Brickler18 here today with another episode of Ask Brick here on FAQ Friday Answered Questions. Subscribe to Brickler18 for more daily LEGO videos. So I first want to apologize for the lack of videos that have been on this week. I haven't uploaded a new video since Monday, or Sunday even, and I really apologize for that. It's been crazy busy with studying for exams, but I'm all done exams now, which is very exciting, and now I have a five-day weekend just to do anything I want. So that's going to include making a lot of different LEGO videos. First question in response to a question that was asked last week about LEGO Vikings. 3FIM2 says, Ask Brick, I can't buy online, Vikings is overpriced on eBay, and I've been looking for Viking sets in secondhand stores, what should I do? Well, if you can't find it Lego in secondhand stores, which is, I never ever can because it goes too quickly, what I do is, you know, maybe if your local, you know, community has like a Facebook page, mine has a couple, like their swap shops, you could always post pictures in there, like looking for Lego Viking sets, let me know if you have any, like contact me or something like that. If you go to Lego conventions, they might have some there, but again, they'll probably be overpriced, but you just got to keep looking and maybe someday you'll get lucky. Another option is you could order all the parts to buy, like to build them, part them together on Bricklink. A lot of times that is quite cheaper than just buying the set if you just buy the parts and part it together. This user does not have their name in my email, but it says, FAQ, would you do a, like a fan mail video if I ever sent something to you, like a little Lego and a drawing or a note? Yes, I would. I actually used to do this all the time. It was called those hashtag those brick letters. It's where fans would like either just send me actual letters or email me letters. And what I do is I'd read them on video and then like hang them on my wall. Now I have a lot less wall space to do that. But if you still send me a letter, I would definitely open it up on video and give you a shout out and read it and stuff like that. If you ever do want my address to send me fan mail, please just send me an email or like an Instagram message and you can have it. Lego RS asks, what is better for you? To build a new set and keep it on the table or wherever or take the parts and build an awesome mock. It really depends on the set with me. If it's maybe like a Star Wars set that I don't have any intentions of keeping but I see some cool parts in it, I'll definitely like, you know, maybe take the parts apart and, you know, build a cool set. If it's a gift from a family member that I really like and would love to keep together, I'll probably just put it on my shelf. And if it's like a Lego City modular building that I buy myself, I'm definitely going to keep it sealed. It really all depends on the set. Ask Brick, what do you think of the new LEGO wheelchair piece? Honestly, this new wheelchair piece looks so, so cool from LEGO. I'm really excited that LEGO's actually making it. I'm not excited because I think, oh, well, I mean, this is cool. This is a good way. But my main thing is not now kids that are in wheelchairs will get the opportunity to have a wheelchair in their LEGO. Like, if they have a wheelchair, now their sig fig can have a wheelchair. I mean, that's really awesome. and That's very, definitely important to them. But as a comment on Brick said, I don't remember who did they pointed out that if kids are already in a wheelchair, maybe when they play with Lego, they want to forget that they're in a wheelchair and have a figure that walks. And I mean, that's definitely up to your own personal preference. I'm not in a wheelchair, so it would be very different for somebody who is, and that's kind of a personal preference. Do they want to be seen as that in Lego, or do they want to forget about it? No judgment whatsoever. The reason I'm excited for it is now my LEGO City will get to have people in a wheelchair because unfortunately people are in wheelchairs and as much as it is sad, it is a reality so now it'll just be able to bring some more realistic LEGO features into my LEGO City which is definitely important. On top of that, it is just a really cool piece. I think it's a really neat new mold and I'm really excited to get to use it. I do have a wheelchair that I've reviewed a little while back so I'll put that video in the cards now as well as I'll link the wheelchair where you can buy it down in the description below. But it's also a really cool wheelchair and I just can't wait to get the other wheelchair and compare these two because I think that would be really cool. Let me know down below what you think of the wheelchair. Just Lego 101, have you ever had a Dark Age before? No, just LEGO 101, I have not had a Dark Age before, I'm 16 now, I've gone through a lot of slow periods, you know, maybe when I was 8 or 9, 10-ish, I went through some slow periods, but I've never had an actual, like, Dark Age where I didn't do anything with LEGO. Bears Brick Den asks, will you do LEGO Technic Reviews? Most likely I won't do very many Technic Reviews just because I don't have any Technic sets. I mean, I do have one, but I don't plan on reviewing it because it's a 3-in-1 and I'm not a fan of 3-in-1 reviews because I'll only ever show you the one model because I'm not rebuilding it and stuff like that. And then a lot of people don't like that because they want to see all the different models you can make. So odds are I'm not going to review that set and odds are I'm not going to review any other Technic sets just because I'm not a huge Technic fan and it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't 
own a lot of it or go out of my way to own any of it just because I'm more of a Lego City person so that's probably why I won't do any Lego reviews. Zach's Bricks how to get money to buy Lego when you were a teenager? So this is a really good question. The first step I would definitely is sell stuff locally. To get started, online selling is a bit too much, I'd say. I'd say start selling locally first. I've sold just as much in the last six months locally and to my local community, like on Facebook, than I have sold on Bricklink. The reason is local people are willing to buy like larger sets and stuff because they aren't afraid of paying shipping because you know they come up to my house and pick it up. And a lot of times they come to pick up one thing and I end up selling them a million other things, which is kind of cool. So I do a lot of local business just because it's easy. I save money on shipping. All I have to do is arrange in a time to place to meet. So I definitely, if you have some extra Lego to sell, I'd start selling locally. Uh, how do you get money to buy Lego when you were a teenager? So I mentioned selling them. Um, you could start a, you looks like you have a YouTube channel. So you could, you know, start monetizing your videos and making some good videos. If you want to earn, you know, pennies or dollars a day, that's a great way to do it. Um, you could get a job. I don't like that idea because I don't have a job either. But I guess that's what your parents are probably going to say. You could always sell other stuff that you don't use. Maybe you used to be into... Hot Wheels, you could try and sell those on eBay or locally again. My goal, I'd say either get a job, which I definitely don't agree with because jobs are boring, or you could try and make your own job by selling things online. That's how I recommend getting money to buy Lego as a teenager. That's how I get money to buy Lego as a teenager. The Lego Brick Fan asked, what is your favorite Lego channel but not you? You know what, this is a great question and is definitely something I kind of want to answer. But I'm not going to answer it, mainly because there's just so many really good LEGO YouTubers out there, I honestly can't just pick one. And I don't want to start naming off a couple and then realize how I missed some really important ones. Thanks everybody so much for watching this episode of Ask Brick. Let me know down below if you enjoyed, as well as if you want to answer any of those questions with your own opinion. Also, let me know down below what you think of this really cool Ask Brick sign I made of LEGO with, you know, my Sig Fig and a couple other things. I think it's pretty cool and I'm really excited that I built it and I think it's a lot better than just looking at the YouTube to play button. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like this video as well. Subscribe.